I am Charles Kateri, the Deputy Director of Ghana Permaculture Institute. GPI, that is Ghana Permaculture Institute, was established in 2004 by the late Dr. Paul Yeboah. In 2004, he got the knowledge in the permaculture system when he was a monastery in, um, in Tanobwase, in Techman. And when he had the training, he said, no, this system is a system that the, our forefathers were using. They were not destroying the land. They were just protecting the land. They were not using synthetic chemicals. That causes a lot of harmful effects to the environment and to humanity as well. This was how the 24.5 acres of land looked before Dr. Paul Yeboah bought it in 2004 to connect and work with rural and low-income peasant farmers in Ghana on the permaculture design system. Because this land was a bare land when it was acquired. This site was a place where uh, they wind gravels to, uh, to construct the Tichiman Tamale Road. Therefore, the, the, the founder, Dr. Paul Lebo, acquired this place as part of our permaculture principle. We said there's no waste. Waste is a resource. Therefore, what people see as a waste, we are able to translate that into resource. So we claim this land, this land was claimed, or pitches, to reclaim the soil that has been seen, or the land that has been seen as, or that's, that has been discarded. We try to reclaim it so that it can be a farming land. So that is why, as we'll be going around, you will see a lot of green uh, leaves, green things that we have planted that is on this land. But before, this place was just a bare, uh, a red, a gravel soil that nothing was growing okay, in. So we have been able to improve the soil. Dr. Yebua saw the need for a demonstration site where permaculture methodologies and practices could be put into effect for farmers to better appreciate the long-term benefits. He found the system to be interesting because it was the method that his village used until many farmers became interested in the conventional agricultural system. We promote the organic system of farming. Promoting the organic system of farming is looking at what nature does. We make him from nature, that is farming without using synthetic chemicals. But when you use the synthetic chemicals, it kills the microorganisms that uh, degrade the coarse materials for us to get the good soil or fertile soil that is needed to, to, to cultivate our produce. We also care for the environment by promoting afforestation, that is tree planting. Various tree species make up the eco village, including Moringa, Mango, and Mahogany. Charles Catre is the institute's deputy manager. Of the products that we process, we process Moringa powder, which is very nutritious. So these are a food from, supplement. These are products. These are moringa product from moringa, mm -hmm. moringa plants. So you have so trees here. We have moringa plants trees. here, okay. trees here okay. that um, we harvest the leaves, and then we process these leaves, and then we dry them in the in our solar dryer, mm. and then we process and we have a machine that process them into this fine food supplement. Mm, okay. So you can add it to any meals that you be taking. Whether you have your fufu, whether you have your porridge, whether you have why, tea, why is it you can why is it so it. important? Why is this so important? The, this, these products, why are they important? Yes, they are very important. One, it is promotes, it is improving the economic life of our farmers. Second one, it is very good to the human uh, to the human system because this, when you take a teaspoon of this moringa, you have you get your milk, the contents, uh, the calcium that you get in milk, mm -hmm. the the protein that you get in egg, you will mm. get the same content. Mm. Uh, the, you will get the when you take four carrots, mm. the, the 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 vitamin A that you will get in carrot, you will get it in this 
um, moringa powder when you take a teaspoon you get the the protein the contents that is in uh, the potassium that is in banana you'll be able to get that same content in this moringa sure, sure. therefore it's just a storehouse of uh, different vitamins mm. and proteins yeah. so it's a food supplement that is added to so any kind of food i'm wondering how you. does it protect the environment what is the connection the connection to the environment is the plantation of this mm. uh, moringa plant it's a nitrogen fixing plant it fixes nitrogen in the environment that is promoting our soil and then aside that it is also promoting the afforestation system therefore the more farmers plant this moringa mm. they will be, will be able to promote the afforestation system mm -hmm. and then also pro provide economic impact to the farmers and then notwithstanding uh, provide uh, nutrition add value uh, nutritional value mm. to our food that we eat mm. so these are all from yeah these are moringa all from products. so we have the perma moringa shampoo that is used uh, in bathing the mm. shower gel with this one is used in bathing and then we have the perma uh, diabetes capsule mm -hmm. that is made out from the moringa powder mm. so and we, then we also have these ones we have the moringa soap bar mm -hmm. this is moringa soap bar that is uh, soap that is made out of uh, the moringa we use this one too in bathing that's the hard soap these are all products of moringa including products this of moringa and then we have other product that is perma baobab, baobab oil that is distilled that is processed from the baobab, the seeds, tree. The baobab tree yes and then we have the baobab tree is you know the actually baobab. um the fruits are used for porridge and yes, other stuff exactly. but we have never the powder seen this before. the oil yes we are able to uh, get oil from the seeds mm. as well so mm. we and process this them here this purposely you can use it for cosmetics you can also cook as well mm. you can use it you can use this one to cook yes, what please. rice rice you can add it to your rice and maybe a stew you can add it okay. as well and you can also use it for cosmetics okay as well so I mean, let's look in, but, no, in but this one is uh, moringa. Perma moringa ani. Moringa. yeah so perma moringa ani. Mm. why it is perma moringa ani is in our site we have a lot of moringa plants mm. and we have allocated part of our site we have in the permaculture and we have what we call zones mm -hmm. the zones are categorized based on our interaction so we have zone five where we don't usually go so that is where we have set our apiaries that is the beehives mm. where we take this and be uh, the, uh, this honey and with this honey what we realize is that the bees when you we 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 send this our moringa powder after we have gotten the powder we get a chaff we send it closer to the the, the hives these bees feed on it and then when you harvest this honey mm. sometimes you can feel the taste of moringa yeah in the honey. this honey. Okay, that's why you name it yeah that's moringa. why we name it pure uh, perma moringa, moringa. And is it you quite is it different? very organic very different from uh, not much different but different because when you taste it you feel the taste of moringa in it. In, in this one mm. than the other or uh, anis that we have outside mm. and we don't adulterate our honey just direct from the institute the site right. so it's very pure right the ghana permaculture institute works with over 8,000 farmers in the country over the years the institute is able to teach these farmers how to strategically combine crops for household consumption and business currently we are having over 8,000 farmers across ghana where these farmers over 70 eight percent of these farmers are cultivating moringa and then planting other species other cash crop cash, uh, cashew uh, cocoa and other crops that they are able to get economic income from this mm. agriculture is both a sufferer and a contributor to climate change crop yields are threatened by droughts floods, and soil degradation 
agriculture accounts for about a quarter of global greenhouse gas emissions. Permaculture, a type of a communal farming developed in the 1970s, could be a viable antidote to destructive monoculture. Permaculture encompasses economic and social aspects in addition to agriculture. Permaculture is one of the viable solutions to help combat climate change and food insecurity for the global population that is malnourished. It is inspired by the everyday relationships found in nature. One of the Institute's greatest ambitions was to phase out unsustainable agricultural techniques and improve the economic situation of rural farmers. Loss of biodiversity due to agriculture is becoming a global issue. Eight genetic history is being lost as fewer species are farmed, as well as reliance on expensive imported agrochemicals, fertilizers, and seeds. Ghana Permaculture Institute, on the other hand, does something different all of the practices are concerned with the environment in the Institute we uh, do organic farming where we have different vegetables we have different crops that have been planted where we don't use uh, synthetic chemicals but rather we use organic chemical uh, organic fertilizer that is animal manure we apply sawdust we also use mulching system where we apply coarse materials on the ground where we don't use pesticide, but the mulching system reduces uh, the, crop, the, the crop growth in the institute, okay. in the communities. Mm, so this is the neem oil? We also have too? neem oil. This neem oil, uh, what we use it for is you can apply it on the skin mm -hmm. when you have some rashes or so. And we also use this neem oil as a pesticide. We mix it with water and other uh, stuff mm -hmm. and then we prepare our pesticide. We don't use uh, chemical mm -hmm. pesticides. You know, when you spray your pesticide, it drives, it kills these microorganisms that comes to destroy the plants. We use um, uh, neem oil. When you use this neem oil, it doesn't kill the insects. Mm -hmm. It only drives them away. So when they come to taste the plants, the taste of the plant is bitter. Therefore, these insects will not taste or will not bite the plant or the leaf of the plant. Mm. Therefore, when they taste it and it is not sweet, they will have to go. So most of the times we use it for our organic uh, pesticide preparation. A rainwater collecting system has been installed and the institute has also installed solar power to rely on clean energy. So examples that we have is caring for the earth is the solar systems that we are using. Instead of using the grid to process all the machines that we have in processing our produce, we use the solar system. That is what we're using. And then caring for the earth okay. and then we are able to care for the earth by also harvesting our raining water instead of us uh, getting some water somewhere because here it got to a time we needed water to do uh, to do our farming all year round but we're not getting water three main tenants of permaculture caring for the earth caring for people and sharing surplus offer a potential path towards climate justice which is a response to well-documented findings that climate change disproportionately harms underprivileged groups in economic public health among others a report by mohammed nuruddin 